RadicalPrep.com. Okay, we've got a graphing question here, and it says the graph above represents the equation h of x. The graph of h of x plus 2 would intersect the x-axis in how many places? And the first thing I want to say is, is that hopefully you're familiar with the h of x notation or the functional notation, but really you can say h of x, uh, g of x, f of x, they're all different ways of saying the y equation, y equals something. So you've got this transformation here they put the plus two in the parentheses and and what you gotta know how to do is you gotta know how graphs move and that's gonna be the title of my mini lesson here how graphs move and bear with me for a minute but you're gonna like what I do it's gonna give you some quick tips so we've got this equation h of x if I tell you draw me h of x plus two what are you gonna do to every single point in that graph you're going to shift it up two units. So everything moves up two units. If I tell you draw me h of x minus two, what do you think happens? Well, it's going to go down two units. If I said draw me h of x plus two with everything in the parentheses, well it's a little confusing because you think it go to the right two units, it actually moves everything to the left two units. And if that's the case, what's the only thing left? h of x minus 2, it's going to move everything to the right two units. So I didn't go into how to derive these rules, but just know that it comes from, you could kind of test an equation, and back in school you'd make your t-chart and you put all the points there, 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 blah. That's how you get these rules. But, you know, for the SAT, we're saving time. Just know that these are the rules and, and they work. So we're going to look back at the graph now. This is the graph of h of x. They want to know the graph of h of x plus 2 intersects the x-axis in how many places. Well, what happens? This is just going to move everything two units to the left. So every single one of these points that's intersecting the x-axis, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, they're really all just moving over this way. So you're going to get the same exact graph, but it's just going to start over here. And I'm not going to draw it because that's going to be a pain in the butt to draw it, but you get the idea. It's going to go through all that, and it's going to be shifted over two units to the left, which means actually all these points of intersection are still there. So you got four of them, choice B. But the main thing I want you to get out of this ex explanation is that you should know how graphs move, and now when you see whether it's in the parentheses or outside the parentheses, you're going to know what to do to the graph. Move it you know, left, right, up, or down. And if you need any more help with these problems, definitely visit my website at RadicalPrep.com. Thank you and take care.